Hey fishermen, good morning. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really nice little snack for old flathead using sardines. That's right, just regular old sardines. You can use them in brine or you can use them in oil. I would recommend the Louisiana hot sauce, but whatever you like, it's up to you. But I'm going to use them in brine today. And of course, we're going to be using bait baggies. We're going to be packing up the original bait baggies. Now these are available at baitbaggies.com and they're also on eBay and they're also at Amazon. Just type in bait baggies and uh, they should come up for you. But do visit baitbaggies.com and you'll find a complete selection of bait baggies is available for you. So that's the bait baggies, the original bait baggies today. And so we're going to use we're going to use sardines today and I've already got a can open make some sardine packages the first thing I like to do I like to use the brine because it's a little little more flavor and put some oil in there mix up some oil as you can see this is just regular oil cooking oil uh, you can use whatever type you would like and just mix it up mix it up real good just make it real good okay just mix it up in there real fine. Just get real good. Make a good, good juice. Make a real good juice. And then, what you want to do, just take a bait bag, a typical bait bag. Open it up. Holding your drawstring closures. I like to hold them like this and just make a nice little bowl. Just a nice little bowl shape. This is a scent pad. Uh, they are available also at baitbaggies.com and eBay and also on Amazon. And uh, you just take a, take take one or if you would like, you could, you, could take, you could take two if you would like, but I'm just gonna use one today. Just take one and just put the bait baggie, just put it right down in, just like so, as you can see. Fits right, fits right down in there. Then what you want to do is you want to take your sardine mixture and you just want to pack it right on top of it, just like that. Whoa, look at that. That is delicious. That is delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Makes me hungry just looking at it. Believe me, it does. And you just, you can see, you just got, you just, you just take your drawstring closures, you just pull your drawstring closure just like so. Shape it up a little bit with your finger. And look at that, what a nice bait you've got. And you can suck right up in there. Suck her in there real good. Suck that little buoyancy ring, that little scent pad up real good. You just lay her down there and you can just tie it one time with a slip knot like so I just like to use just a regular little slip knot and look what a beautiful baiting package that you've got a beautiful baiting package of course you can use treble hooks you can use a treble hook inside put the treble hook in if you want or of course you just hook it this way or you can you can actually hide your hook down inside however you would like to hook them and there you go a nice little a nice little a nice little sardine snack for old old big old big mouth out there and you got it right there Isn't that a beautiful little bait nice little bait a nice bait and again what we're using with the scent patch the scent pads are available and again that is bait baggies the original bait baggies available at baitbaggies.com ebay and on amazon okay fishing but now what i'm going to do i'm going to show you how to my favorite method of hooking this little bait. Today I'm using a number five odd hook. Now there's again there's two ways you can do it. You can hook it right down into it or you can actually hide you can actually hide your hook down in it. But 
way I'm going to do it, I'm going to actually put my hook down in it just like so. Then you see your, your drawstring. I take my drawstring, I take one of my strings, just like so. And I like to run it through the eye of the hook, just like this. See how I did that? Just put it right down there, just run it right through the eye of the hook. And then, when you tie it, watch what happens to the bait. When you tie it, it'll pull that bait, it'll keep that bait right up there on there. And you can just put your little slip knot in it, like so, and there you've got it. You've got a nice bait that is ready, that will stay right up there on the hook. Just like so, it will stay right there. Of course you could use treble hooks. You can bury a treble hook in it. Uh, you can use shanked hooks. Uh, at various hook, hook type, but there you go. And then again, you've got a nice bait, a nice bait that's ready for the catfish. Thank you, and remember, bait baggies will do the trick for you all the way. And remember, they're out there, they're hungry, so pack them a lunch.